Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, my own poor man's pappy. It's the standard 60-40 split of old Weller Antique and Weller 12. That makes it about 50.1% ABV. I will let you know if it's better than the sum of its parts after I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, so I did three variations of Poor Man's Pappy back in about April of last year. So this has had about a year and a half to sit in the bottle. Uh, the first variation I did, I took a one liter oak barrel and did the 60-40 split in there. Let that age for about a month. It came out super, super over oaked. Um, it was pretty much undrinkable. Just didn't like it at all. Um, so I kind of scrapped that batch. Did it again in the same oak barrel, hoping that this time the oak wouldn't be as prevalent. I aged it for a little bit less time. It came out a lot better, but still had this like little bit of oakiness to it that just didn't quite work out, um, in my opinion. So I did a third variation where I just did the 60-40 split straight into the bottle. So nothing else added, just let it blend together in the bottle, and it turned out a lot better. I'll get to the nose right now. So really nice kind of like rich kind of cherry note to this one. I get a uh, pomegranate, which I love. I love getting pomegranate in the, in the whiskey. You get a nice, like, rich kind of vanilla to this. Nice kind of, like, soft oakiness to it, too. Just, like, kind of on the background. Really nice oak. And I get, like, a little bit, like, um, like a scented kind of marker. Remember those, like, scented markers you used to smell back in, like, public school days? I used to love that. Pick that up a little bit here. It's really nice. All right, I'll go palette. Really nice kind of like rich toffee to this. Um, you get that like dark cherry note. You get the pomegranate again. And then um, like a nice like cinnamon spice. Really nice cinnamon spice of this. Finish, uh, medium to long I'd say. You get the fruit and then your palate kind of dries out and you get like that cinnamon spice. You get uh, some of that pomegranate note again. Very drying, really nice though. Um, let's compare it to the sum of its parts and then I'll mark them all at the end. All right, starting with the Weller 12, um, I did this review as part of the Baby B Tac collection. So if you want full tasting notes, you can check that one out. But kind of just really quickly, on the nose, on the palate, versus the poor man's. So on the nose, you kind of get like a, almost like more kind of refined kind of nose, almost like a little more elegant kind of nose to it. I'd say like the cherry notes, kind of like more cranked up, the fruit notes, kind of more like forefront. All right, let's try a uh, palette. So a little more lighter on the palate, a little more creamier, I'd say too. Really nice. I like the Weller 12 a lot. Let's try the 107. So yeah, this one, the, like the spiciness is more cranked up, more forefront. I don't wanna say there's almost like a sharpness to it, but I think like you kind of get that more kind of like bolder, kind of like spice kick on this one. Less fruit for sure. The cherry is, is there, but it's, it's kind of like more in the background. It's kind of like a heartier kind of whiskey this one is. Palette. Yeah, big spice kick on the palate here. And on the finish. With that like nice, nice cinnamon note. Get that oak spice. So really, what you're getting with the poor man's is almost exactly what you'd expect. It's kind of the best of like both these whiskeys. You kind of get like the bold kind of like spice kick from the antique. You kind of get the nice like refined elegance, fruit forward notes of the Weller 12. So really awesome kind of experiment to do. Um, if you have both these bottles, definitely do a little mixture up, um, see what you can come up with, see if you like it maybe more or less than these. Score-wise for these ones, um, I'm going to give the 107 an 85 out of 100. The Weller 12, you've seen that one before. I gave it an 86 out of 100. 
And the poor man's, I'm going to split it right down the middle and go 85 and a half out of 100. Um, I don't quite like it as much as the Willer 12. I think I'd take the Willer 12 over it, but it's kind of a nice thing to have. I mean, these are all really close. They're all kind of good in their own, in their own way. And um, yeah, this one's kind of just like, you know, a nice, pretty child of these two. Um, but there's one more whiskey to compare to it, and that's the Pappy 15. All right, so my review for this is up. You can go check it out for like full tasting notes and scores. Um, but just really quickly on the nose, let's see how it compares to the poor man's. So you just get like, just like the depth, the complexity of this nose is just so much more than the Pappy, uh, the poor man's Pappy. Yeah, it's just layer upon layer of flavor here. Whereas this, you get some really nice, like, you know, three or four tasting notes. It's just not as much as this. This one, just way more complex. I'm gonna try the palette. Yeah. Yeah, no comparison in my opinion. This one just blows it out of the water. The one thing that it does share though, is on the finish, that oakiness, that drying. Kind of like, it dries your palate, and then just leaves you with all these, all these notes, all this like fruit, all this like really nice spiciness. And that, you do kind of get that with the poor man's pappy, I will admit. It's kind of got that element the same. But at the end of the day, it's not a substitute for the, uh, for the Pappy Van Winkle, unfortunately. But it's a good whiskey in its own regard. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried the poor man's Pappy? Um, have you made it yourself? Do you like it better than the sum of its parts? And uh, what do you think about the Weller line? What's your favorite Weller? Is it the 107? Is it the 12? Is it the Special Reserve? Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Um, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe if you haven't. Really appreciate it, guys. All the best. Cheers.